Hey guys, today we're taking a closer look at the 2000 watt inverter charger with built-in transfer switch. Uh, people are primarily using these for their sub pumps in their basement. Uh, when sizing your inverter, if your pump is rated at about a quarter horsepower to a third, this is probably going to be the right inverter for you. If you have a dual pump system or if your uh, pump is rated at about a half horsepower or larger, you're going to want to go with the 3000 watt unit or larger. Uh, feel free to contact us at powerinverters.com. We'll be happy to walk you through basically the different types of equipment that you're going to use with your inverter and we could always size out the batteries too and we'll be able to give you a better understanding of how long the batteries will last between charges so this way you'll be able to anticipate if you have longer blackouts which type of uh, battery or battery bank size that you might need now another trick that people are uh, need to know about the inverter charger setup is that when their battery bank is aligned and everything is set up if your blackouts are not so frequent if you're only having a blackout let's say once a year or once every two years even you're going to want to cycle your batteries occasionally so what you'll do is you'll disconnect from the wall let your battery cycle down recharge them up not too often but a couple times a year this way that you'll your batteries will stay fresh and not dormant over a long period of time um, if you have any questions about your setup batteries as far as cabling goes, as far as understanding what type of equipment will run off a 2,000 or 3,000 watt unit, for example, feel free to contact us at powerinverters.com.